So can you suppose explain, uh, first of all, around what kind of financial difficulty we're talking about here? Okay, so where we are at the moment, we've launched the appeal this morning, Save Dublin Zoo. We are working off a reserve that we have at the moment, but that reserve is running out. And it is taking around €500,000 per month just for the animal care alone. So with those, those figures, you know, you look at €25 Euro a day to feed a red panda, you know, €75 Euro to feed one elephant, we have nine. You know, sea lions, €100 Euro a day, we have five. So the reserve is starting to run out. We probably get to maybe early spring, but after that, then we are in a situation where the money won't be there to, uh, to keep the lights on. I don't know if you're in a position to say, but like, just to give people an idea, how much reserve would you have had just to show how much has been spent while well, stores are closed? I don't have the exact figure on that, but it would have been, you know, maybe one or two million there. But like, as I said, over the months that we've been closed, we're still operational. You know, the standard of care that our animals receive here at Dublin Zoo is of the highest standard throughout the world. And we, we have to maintain that on a daily basis, and we will maintain that. But that's why we've gone to the people of Ireland now to help us. We really need your help now. You know, and if you go to DublinZoo.ie, you can donate to Dublin Zoo, and that will keep us with the lights on for the next number of months and get us through this pandemic. Absolutely. That is that's a very, very strong possibility at the moment that we will have to close the gates of Dublin Zoo. Um, you know, unless we can raise the funding. But the one thing that will not happen is that the care and the world class care as we say of our animals will continue here at Dublin Zoo. It would be a massive loss to the country to, to be without uh, uh, Zoo. Listen, it will be absolutely massive. I mean we're hundred and eighty nine years here. We've survived many, many different events. The pandemic has hit us really hard, as it's hit everybody else within the country. But it's at this stage now that we really need the people of Ireland to come behind us with this appeal. And as I said, to keep the lights on, to keep the species that we have here, you know, in the standards that we have to maintain.